Hey, how's it going? So, very different vlog today in the form of like a study with me, productive week in the life vlog, complete with narration and lots of time lapses because I just wanted to do something different for a change and show off the varsity lifestyle in a different way. So, the day starts at 5 a.m., which is unusual and not because I usually wake up at this time, but because I needed to complete a BSS assignment, which is our business management and project management module. So, I got up and made some breakfast, which consists of eggs, Prunutro, and then made some lunch for the day, which is a tuna sandwich, bananas, apples, and a nice Tupperware of pasta, beans, and of course, mayonnaise. You always need lots of mayonnaise. So I head off to campus then at 7.30 for a microprocessors tutorial. On my bike, my trusty steed, the Scott Aspect 950. And when I get to campus, try not to get too aggravated by the queues to get into the turnstiles. Our EMK tutorial or microprocessors is good. We go through some data memory theory and how to use and manage the program and instruction memory on the microprocessors. Uh, we're using specific microprocessors called PICs in this module to build our like robot line following cars uh, that I've talked about before on the channel, but more on that in a minute. Hey, hey, it's seven minutes to three. Um, walking back, I'm gonna go cycle back to Rez, or to an apartment now, and go and grab my Op amp and EMK kit because we have two hours left until we have to be in the lab here and we have to like report back to our tutor what we're busy doing for EMK and like how much progress we've made in the practical. So we have to be in the labs for the next two hours. So might as well get some work done. So I'm gonna go grab some components and head back. So how's it Jess? How's uh, our E and E prac going? <laughs> Just tell me how the prac's going. Yeah, well, busy working out the values, but basically we're building a photo resistor circuit in that to detect the light of the EMK race tracks. You know, you remember I described it to you before. This is our little lights in a box that is going to measure the lights. And yeah, we, this is the first day we've actually put components on the board, and so making some kind of progress is nice to see. Okay, so this is our circuit at the moment. Behind it is what the circuit diagram looks like. But uh, all good. We're just about to test and check that if our check our up amp is measuring the potent the photoresistors values properly. And then yeah, Wednesday we're coming back just to test a bit more, and then this practical is done. Yes, Jess. Yes. Boys over here simulating. That's what I like to see. It is uh, twenty past four. Things are going well in the labs. So then later on in the evening, Tux played UJ in a Varsity Cup rugby match, and so myself and some of my friends went to watch and support and enjoy the social vibes that are Varsity rugby games. Uh, and then on Tuesday morning, my cough and general sickness carries on making me feel like crap, but I persevere anyway and try focus in our three-hour microprocessor combined practical and lecture where we learn more about the microprocessor we're using, how to program it using the assembly language and what is expected of our robot car in the near future. It's really interesting and it's a good different kind of teaching style that we have to do in the class, combining like online questionnaires, teaching from the uh, lecturer in the front and like assignments with our peers in class. It's really good. Then I head off to the engineering study center to try and read through the notes for microprocessors and wrap my head around the difficult and oftentimes confusing technical nature of all the different electrical components uh, that we're expected to use in the module. Then later we have a boring analog electronics lecture at the end of the day that saps everyone's energy terribly. Um, it's an interesting subject and it's got some applications that are kind of superseded by the digital stuff we're doing in EMK, but it's interesting nevertheless. Oh, that poor man, he looks tired. Um, so when I get back later in the day to my apartment, I spend some time fiddling with my microprocessor, learning about how to use its development board, and spend ages, ages trying to swap out a chip without breaking the delicate legs uh, and having to go buy a whole new one to complete the rest of the practicals for the entire semester. I eventually got it after like playing with those scissors very carefully for a while. If these guys smoke one more joint outside my window, I'm gonna lose my mind. <coughs> now we're on Wednesday morning where I have a very chill day in terms of classes and I take the trash out on the way out for the day. 
I then spend time with my analog electronics group working on our circuit for our first practical and type out the start of the engineering report we have to now write for every practical in LaTeX. It's a really nice document editing language that makes typing out maths really easy. Uh, and so that takes a good while in the ABC electronics labs. So uh, we're busy sitting in the labs with uh, no electricity. Don't know what's happening. Trying to do our electricity prac. It's three minutes to 12, so it's probably 12 o'clock load shedding. Yeah. We have generators here though, what's going on? Uh, it takes a minute or two to kick in. It's better, goodness. Busy typing out the beginning of the report here. Johan is working on the circuit in the dark. Hey, there we go. Good stuff. Work continues. So we are here in the labs. How's it going? Like it. Yeah. Like it. It's gone okay. Busy working on the report already, typing in the equations for our op amp design and calculations. Um, moved over to using Overleaf, the cloud service for LaTeX. It's much better than the offline version I was using last year. Um, in particular, just like auto-inserting the fractions and the math equations is really good in comparison. And uh, yeah, got to go. Too much work to do. Hello, boykies. How's the circuit? That's good. I'm glad it is working. So far, yeah. Awesome stuff. Good boys. 10% battery left, so let's quickly have a look at what's happening. The prac seems to be working. Yes, finally. Now we just got to fix it. Uh, we accidentally had a re resistor that was being missed, and so we had a buffer instead of an amplifier. But uh, yeah, circuits there, measuring the different colors of the different tracks, and uh, just busy taking the photoresistor, making it more secure inside of this housing structure. Basically, what happens is this housing structure moves over the different colors of the lines, the photoresistor inside and the LEDs measures the different ambient light being reflected by the different colors, changes the voltage level, the different voltage levels will then be sent and digitized to, to our PIC, to our microprocessor. Hey, those are my scissors. Yep, it's yours. And then uh, used for the processing and how to move our robot car in EMK. So yeah, going well. Engineering stuff. Engineering stuff, boy. Then for like the next hour, we work on our circuit, troubleshooting some problems we had earlier, and I continue working on the report for the practical. Uh, it's quite interesting stuff and kind of enjoyable to do with a lot of friends. And so I spent a couple of hours there working on the practical. Later in the evening, back at the apartment, I try my best to work my way through the last of the differential equation problems and calculus problems I have to prepare for my math tutorials the following day. They go pretty well and I'm understanding the subjects pretty well compared to last year because I'm repeating both of these subjects. Then I go and procrastinate with my flatmate Darren for a while. So I'm sorry to interrupt you Darren here but I have to tell the vlog that you hadn't discovered Pernutra until this week and now this is your second bowl this afternoon. <laughs> The third bowl today. <laughs> oh really? Hectic. I mean, I had one this morning, but you like the chocolate flavor, hey? Yes. It's good stuff. Awesome. Very nutritious. You don't have to tell everyone about my bad habits. <laughs> it's not bad habits. We're trying okay, to. Okay, but once I'm having it as a snack, can we just? I have a very little bit. Yes, so and we're trying to promote time. healthy eating on this vlog, yeah. So. Good yeah, job. healthy eating. Not telling everyone to have three bowls of Pernutra. Rather three bowls of Pernutra than three bags of chips. True. Oh, I just realized I have a towel on my head. <laughs> then in a continued effort to get over my flu I have some multivitamin things that my mom gave to me and an ACC 200 because I am tired of blowing my nose every two minutes. Now we're on Thursday morning. I start at 8.30 with an analog electronics tutorial lecture and so make my way there on my bike amongst the usual peloton of bikes on the way to campus in the morning. I'm semi-productive as I work through my way through the difficult problems and make some headway in understanding the way voltage gain works in amplifier circuits and how to calculate a whole host of other parameters for specific circuits. I try not to get crushed on the way out of the AE Annex building by a ravenous host of first years and then head off to a differential equations lecture where I sit with my buddy Paul, who I went to high school with and who's also studying engineering and we proceed to learn more about Bernoulli equations. At lunchtime, I sit for a brief bit with Paul, Mike, Myron and Floor, and they show me a bit of the structural design assignment they're currently working on. Then it's back to the study center to work on more maths and cement my understanding of the concepts needed for the two tuts later in the day. The study center's aircon is freezing and so I'm kept awake nicely. Then a quick break outside for some fresh air, food and people watching before heading into the lecture hall to practice more problems and write the weekly tutorial tests for both maths modules. 
just wrote my maths tests. Got five out of five for the 258 one, because um, I saw the memo. And the 256 one, I don't know, my brain just doesn't see the patterns sometimes, and I didn't see the pattern between the, the cone's radius and the cone's height, which was three quarters, and because I couldn't get that, I just couldn't work out Torricelli's law, and I'm really frustrated with myself, but... Oh well, we move on. We'll get him next time. So, this is a very amusing scene, and I thought I would vlog it. Yo, I'm actually such a vlogger. Anyway, so Mitch is currently in a state of quiet, frantic panic. <laughs> Do you want to explain to them what's going on? So, like, thanks to ASCOM, it's two minutes till load shedding, uh, <laughs> and my quiche hasn't defrosted yet, so it's in the microwave. Look, man, seven o'clock, it's happening. I'm scared. One minute to go and my quiche is still cold. And you see, the problem is, so Mitch and I decided that we were both eating dinner at the same time. <laughs> so we were taking turns with the microwave now. I have nice warm food. Mitch! <laughs> go! go. Was, Mitch, okay. Mitch, does, you saw you cook this. No, that's not cooked. Okay. Mitch is cooking, what's in there now? Uh, baked beans, rice, quiche. Oh, so you put them all together because he had like three different things. I don't know, gourmet meal going on, but yeah, it's very amusing. Um. <laughs> I did get my food heated in time and it was delicious, just so you know. While the power was out, Darren and I both read a book for a while. Hers was an audiobook about aliens and mine was the complicated but excellent Enlightenment Now by Stephen Pinker. And that's the end of this productive week in the life video. I didn't include Friday because Friday is usually pretty unproductive and empty for me and sometimes I even go home for the weekend as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of vlogs like this and I hope you have a great day. See you around uh, hopefully on a future video. Subscribe if you like this and I'll check you around on the internet, hey? Cheers and thanks for watching.